Bing here with Thursday Credit Tip. You know, I just love my credit card so much that I keep it paid off. Why? I don't want to be robbed blind. All right, so everyone understands they are getting robbed blind by credit card interest rates, assuming they're an active user. There's no secret there. However, I think we should quickly study how impactful a lifetime of using credit cards with bad interest rates and high balances really is. There's a reason we've seen anywhere from David Spade at his height to Samuel L. Jackson do credit card commercials. I'm pretty sure they didn't go very cheap. Great credit scores can get you down into the 10% APR range on your car. Bad credit, assuming you can even get qualified at all, can put you all the way up to the 30% range. Although I've occasionally heard of ultra-high rates as much as 80% on high-risk cars. But at that point, you might as well go outside, grab a gun, shoot yourself in the foot, because they're going to both feel just about the same. Now, let's use a slightly worse than average rate surveyed by creditcards.com of, say, 23.23%. Let's say, for instance, you made a single $1,000 purchase on a credit card with this 23.23% APR. It would take you over six years to pay it off if you just paid the minimum credit card balance which means the credit card will collect $840 worth of interest during that time. Now, however, if you're a good credit score, you could pay it off two years earlier and only be at around $200 in total interest. The difference is well over $600. And that's just one purchase, one purchase on one card. That's insane, people. What people often forget when losing money due to their credit scores is that not only do they end up with the same product after spending more money, they could have been allocating that money toward their investments, toward their retirement, toward the children's college fund. And when you add a modest 7% return on that lost money over a lifetime, the bill goes anywhere from hundreds of thousand dollars lost to millions of dollars you could have earned. Don't throw away money or allow others to do likewise. Stop letting credit cards treat you like a loan shop, ripping you off every way they can. Get those credit scores up, people. Step number one, only use the credit card for regular recurring bills. Never expenses that are not of necessity. Pay it off every pay period. No clothes, trips, vacations, or restaurants, etc. on your car. Now, if your score is in the mid-600s, you may be ready to buy your home right now. But the higher the score, the lower the cost on houses, the lower the cost on cars and appliances. So I hope you get a pencil and figure out how much money sloppy credit has cost you. And I hope that motivates you to change people. Hey, I'm Harry Bing, and I help home sellers and buyers in Central Florida to fulfill their home ownership dreams in wonderful West Orlando and just Central Florida in general. Got questions? DM us or visit www.talkwithharry.com. Have a great day.